All right, everybody, welcome back. Well, here we go. Time to look at uh, Nation's number one asshole, Alec Baldwin. Uh, covered a little bit of story a few videos ago about uh, Nicholas Cage kind of slamming Alec Baldwin about uh, you know using handguns, guns, horses. You know any actor. Should be knowing what they're doing with what equipment they're using or they're fighting or horses or guns or whatever. But the big thing is there is a warrant for Alec Baldwin's cell phone. As you can see right here, Alec Baldwin has not yet handed over cell phone to police following kill killing of Helena Hutchinson. Retrieval has now become the main focus of New York and Santa Fe authorities. And this guy is just a piece of crap. That's all he is. After that interview he had on TV and said he had basically no feelings about the girl, or Miss Hutchinson, Helena Hutchinson dying. No guilt. Wants to know who did it. He's cooperating with full authority with the police. But uh, if you're cooperating, why haven't you handed over your phone? As we can see, Alec Baldwin has failed to hand over his cell phone to authorities following the tragic shooting on the set of Rust, which ended the life of director of photography Helena Hutchison and injured director Joel Stewart Souza. For this, for this reason, the retrieval of the actor's iPhone has now become the main focus in the joint effort of the Suffolk County Sheriff's Department, New York, and the Santa Fe Sheriff's Department, New Mexico. He's using it all the time. He just posted a, a video trying to cover for himself using the phone. It's, uh, he is so out of it. He just thinks he's so rich or such a big actor that nothing's going to happen to him. It, it's just disgusting. But according to information provided to Fox News Digital, the Suffolk County Sheriff's Department in New York received a request to help with the retrieval of Alec Baldwin's cell phone from the Santa Fe Sheriff's Department. The Suffolk County Sheriff's Office has received requests from the Santa Fe, New Mexico authorities requesting assistance in obtaining Alec Baldwin's phone. Sergeant Paul Spinella from the Suffolk County Sheriff's Department's Public Relations Office told Fox News Digital. Spinella continues, this request has been forwarded to the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office to work out differences in laws between New Mexico and New York, adding that this is an ongoing investigation. That is all the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office can report at this time. Well, what else do we have here? Reuters reports the statement issued by the Santa Fe Sheriff's Office came three weeks after the office received the first search warrant to seize the actor's cellular device in order to get information that could help with the investigation. Like I said, he's Alec Baldwin saying, oh, I'm cooperating, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm helping out in any way I can, so give me your phone. They have a search warrant. I mean, I know you got lawyers, but they do have a search warrant. According to the news organization, the search warrant gave authorities permission to examine text messages, email correspondence, social network communications, browser activity, and other information stored on device. Reuters does not clarify, however, that neither the warrant nor the seven-page affidavit cited any particular material that investigators were looking for on Baldwin's phone. Any of the people he's called, anybody that he's been trying to get to back him up, um, I think it was like his assistant is now backing him up after he wasn't backing him up. But according to the aforementioned affidavit issued by Detective Alexandria Hancock, the main reason behind this particular procedure stems from the fact that the suspects, victims, and witnesses often make and or receive telephone calls and or messages before, during, and or after the commission of the crimes. Such information, if it exists, may be material and relevant to the investigation. There are several emails and texts sent and received regarding the movie production Rust and the course of the police interviews. Reuters also reveals that both Santa Fe's office and New Mexico First 
Judicial District Attorney's Office are actively working with the authorities of Suffolk County Sheriff's Department in New York, as well as Alec Baldwin's own legal team. Oh, you know his legal team's fighting us as hard as they can. They don't want him to give up that phone. Now, this is probably going to hopefully end up putting his ass in jail. A client is requesting a warrant for the seizure and search of Alec Baldwin's cell phone to search for any evidence relating to the death investigation of Elena Hutchison. Reads information found in the affidavit obtained by Fox News Digital. The outlet also points out that Alec Aaron Dyer, Baldwin's civil attorney, claimed that the actor had proactively requested that the police obtain a search warrant in order to retrieve the cell phone from him as a safety measure to protect both himself and his family. I could understand that. You know, he might have some stuff on there. Personal information about himself, things about his family, pictures, photos, videos. I can understand that. But guess what? There is a search warrant. You need to turn over your phone. I ain't going to read the last part of it. But yeah, that's uh, Alec Baldwin in a nutshell for you there. Says he's cooperating. But he's not cooperating. There's a search warrant for his phone. But he refuses to give it up. So. We'll see where this takes us for here in the future, folks. But hey, remember. Like, subscribe, click, ring the bell. And we'll see you on the next video.